We have a bit of unfinished business in the Earth Kingdom before we move on. There's this guy over here, Amon. Are you tired of living under the tyranny of benders and join the equalists? Ooh. Okay, for long, not for too long, the bending has caused the war. Interesting. This guy is against the bending. Well, I am the avatar, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna begin the duel against this guy here, the revolutionary Amon, who I'm assuming is also from A Legend of Korra. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use my bending here. I don't think so, or I am. I definitely am, that's good. Okay, so my name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. Oh, he is using bending. Okay, so I wonder he was like this whole time. Oh, uh, bending is awful, don't do bending, but there he is doing it himself there as a water bender. So that's spicy. Uh, hopefully you're having a great day. My day, I'm a little tired, but you know, it happens, it's all good. So it's another day of playing Minecraft and there's a lot of games coming out. They also released the downloadable content for uh, Mario Kart DLC, the booster course. So there's this, there's that. It's very exciting stuff, man. Normally December is pretty, uh, fairly light because I come out with all sorts of things uh, in the month of November, but uh, not necessarily here, man. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm excited to keep on going through uh, game reward. Absolutely. I got another one of those MP there as well. And Amon's mask. Now, as I was going to the very beginning of the map, actually, let me go uh, use my bison whistle here. In the very front portion over here, I accidentally, accidentally hit this wall. And you can do so by tossing some earth at it. And you can burst through here because the people that did this to this guy, they're over here. Apparently, they're over here. So, yes, they are. The Dao Fei. Now, I don't remember the Dao Fei from, uh, obviously, Avatar in any way. So, it must be from... Uh, Legend of Korra, which is all good, but luckily I can use some earth bending against them or a wa- Oh, it's- it's a bunch of different types of, uh, enemies here. Oh, it's a whole different regime. Interesting. I thought it was just one type of bender here. No, it's the whole- it's the whole different types. All right, I like this. Cool. So the Daofei, again, must be from Legend of Korra, which is totally okay. They all seem to be one hit, though. No matter what, for the most part, right? If I toss one of these big giant rocks, it seems to do the case here. Against the earthquakes and everything else. Uh, no, okay. Yep, yep. I'm running out of health. I'm running out of health. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let me recharge a little bit here. Uh, water. Any water around here? Yes. Water. Let's go with the water. Like this. Over here. Yes. Did that do anything? I'm not actually even sure. Come on. Go. Yes, again, one hit situation here against the Daofei. Go. They seem like to be like a street gang, basically. So uh, that's kind of terrifying. But again, they're all one shot. So get them out of here, whoever you are. And now, you know, these battles should give me like two, two MP because they're so much more intensive. But I guarantee you, this guy is also going to be like, hey, man, what's going on, man? The bull, all oh, the boulder. I forgot the boulder is a character. Yes, from uh, Avatar. The last airbender here. Uh, you're challenging me. Uh, you're making the boulder laugh. The boulder doesn't fight for free, little thing. If you really want to take on the boulder, you should come down to the Rumble Arena. You'll fit right in with the other Pipsqueak competes there. So I just unlocked the Rumble Arena because I encountered these uh, these Daofei around here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now if I go over to Appa, I can be like, hey man, uh, do you want to go? somewhere we can go to uh, any of the areas except for the northern air temple so next up on it would be the southern water tribe which is exactly where i'm going to go next here on the avatar legends minecraft pack oh boy it's the ice and the snow and it's a big wide open area here look at how cool this looks all sorts of stuff everywhere it's just a big giant open icy tundra i love it awesome we got a fire bender ship in the background over there Seems like we got uh, Sokka and Katara over toward this way. So let me go say hi to them real quick before going anywhere else because they're the main characters. Cabbage guy's even here too. Uh, villager, how does ship even get up on the ice like that? Well, it's probably because of a shipwreck from a long time ago. But anyways, hey, hey, Kana, I will view the entire Southern Water Tribe. Uh, the Water Tribe is nowhere near as complex as the Northern Tribe. The Northern Tribe has a lot of... Um, a lot of giant fancy ice buildings. I guess it is my character moving because you can see I'm holding the bison whistle here. So 
Um, I thought the cutscenes were a little bit differently rendered this time around, but but no, uh, that's okay. Game mode one has still done an excellent job with this whole thing thus far, so I'm, I'm willing to forgive it. It's okay. So that gives you a good overview of the entirety of the Water Tribe there. There's Appa, obviously. You know, they never really did tents really nicely before, and I'm glad they get a chance to do them now. Uh, hey, man, uh, getting my cart through here in the snowy was such a hard work, yet nobody wants to buy my cabbages. You know what I think about your cabbages, man? I think about this. Get this water whip. Get it out of here. My cabbages. Whoops. It was told forgiveness is a virtue, so I forgive you. This isn't great, but at least three more. You have three more carts. I'm assuming if you destroy each of the carts everywhere, you get a special unlock for it. So that's just, uh, that's just what I think, though. Hi, young man. Sokka built the watchtower with his bare hands. It's a really interesting attempt. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not 100% where it should be, you know? I'm assuming I can jump off it and whatever else all the same, but, uh, yeah. Now, this is actually where the Avatar, uh, was first found, was over near the Southern Water Tribe in the actual water itself. Now, something I didn't point out in the Earth Kingdom is that if I'm underwater, actually, no, if I end up going out of bounds a little bit too far, something uh, kind of spicy happens. Let me see if I can go out of bounds here, uh, away from where everything else is, unless I'm supposed to go this way and I'm just accidentally moving in like an accurate direction. It's not stopping me. So <laughs> wait, it's not stop. There it is, actually. OK, so if you go too far. You get respawn back at the very beginning of the level, which is really interesting in any other Minecraft pack I've encountered that has not happened. So that's really cool that they kind of have these uh, player boundaries for you uh, throughout the entire area here. What's the name of Korra's polar bear dog? I have no idea. It's definitely not Appa, Ira, or Momo. It's going to be Naga. Oh, I got it right. Cool. Look at that. I didn't actually realize that. I, I took a guess. Hi, Sokka. Uh, so you're the Avatar, huh? Yes, I am. Take the boomerang, truly a loyal weapon of them all. So I got the uh, boomerang, which I can get at the Air Temple Island. So at the very end of the playthrough, I'll go back to the Air Temple Island, which is different from the standard Air Temple, and show you all the rewards that I got. I'm aiming to get all of them, mostly because I'm just talking to everybody here. So there's Katara. Uh, welcome to Wolf Cove. It's an honor to have you here, Avatar. I'm the only waterbender in the village. Oh, well, all right. I guess we'll see how this goes. Now, I don't think I can use any earth bending here because there's actually no earth around here. There's only water, right? If I try to do this. Oh, it te technically ice counts as water. That's kind of bizarre. Okay. But since she's the only uh, water bender, she's probably very powerful. Uh, and that's actually true for in Avatar The Last Airbender as well. She's the only bender of the village, which is why she's like, oh, you know, I want to go off an adventure, but her whole family's like, no, you're too, um, you're too young, you're too, you know, not able to go, you need to take better care of yourself and whatever, uh, and be here for your family, but, you know, obviously none of that stuff really ever works, you know what I mean? Here we go. All right. Is that working? It's actually not doing nearly as much damage as it should. Okay, so the whole octopus thing, not, not great there, uh, but what's really cool about this whole area is I can just take water from the ground because it's technically ice, which is really nice. All right. So if I grab this, gonna do this. There we go. And that seemed to defeat Katara right there. Really cool. And uh, I'm impressed, Avatar. Go figure. The Avatar is supposed to be able to defeat everybody and everything. So that's that. Uh, and then the Air Temple, I have a necklace now. So that's cool. Uh, I want to master water bending for sure. So exhale a bone chilling mist that deals damage and freezes enemies in place. Yes, I will absolutely do that. And thus I have every water bending ability unlocked. Uh, next up is going to be this. I'm just going to finish off each of the two bendings that I already have. Um, you mastered water bending. You're now ready to prove yourself against Avatar Korra. Oh boy. Now I'm not going to do any of that until the very end of the playthrough as well. Because all those Avatar battles are going to be spicy. You know what I mean? Some strangers have set up camp just across the ice plains. I wonder who they are. Ah. Well, penguins, yo, hi, penguins, meow, meow, how are you? Hi, well, penguins with four flappers, fins, flappers, fins, those are called fins, not flappers, yes, I love penguins, and I, sh I mean, they kind of look, they might be called flappers in this universe, they, they look like they flap around, so that, that does not surprise me, hey, you, unalak, 
Uh, I recognize that look. You must be the new Avatar. As Avatar, you're the bridge between the material world and the spirits. Want a taste of this? Sure. Waterbending master Unalak and the twins. The twins? Who's the twins? Oh, that's, um, uh, oh, it's a three, it's a three V one. Hello. Okay. Um, is, is this going to do anything? Is that actually doing anything? The whole mist thing? Oh, it's a continuous fire here. Oh, you see that? Oh, and my health went up too. You see this? Whoa. Okay. So eventually it does run out, but that's okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Since there's three of them, this is a very spicy battle. Uh, we'll do this. Oh, geez. Oh, and it also changes up how it looks on the ground, too. So that's kind of cool. Uh, with any of these kind of battles, you kind of want to go for uh, one of them at a time here. Because uh, doing that much damage right in a row is going to be a massive pain. Now, since I'm battling three people at once, I should be getting three of these MPs here. You know what I mean? That'd be really uh, fitting, you know? Here we go. Yep. And a little bit of distance. And that should be it right here. Come on, one more. One more. One. Literally one more. There we go. All right. So a 3v1. Concluded and done. Beautiful. Gain that reward. Nice. Only one? Wow. Okay. But I have the Vatu statue, which is cool. So yeah, these must be from uh, Legend of Korra. Uh, let's just stare at them until they go away. Okay. So I guess they're just going to stare at me until I go away. So allow me to go away. Uh, I'm going to head over to the Firebender ship over here that's clearly a little bit wrecked. This might actually be an inaccessible area. If you see it go all the way to black, then that's how you know you probably shouldn't be there. But they're also going to let me go here. This is what... Uh, this happened in Avatar Last Airbender. It was... I believe it was uh, Aang who got the fire ship like this. Uh, this is the first remnant. This is the first time you see the Fire Nation in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is when they approach the water temple to uh, go find the Avatar. They successfully find the Avatar, but uh, don't get him or anything. So that's, uh, that's a failure of the first of many failures for Sir Prince Zuko. So is there really nothing? Oh, there has to be something around here. Come on now. Oh yeah, here we go. What's this? What's this? The Pai Show Tile. Uh, okay. So there might be, uh, multiple of these throughout the game that I didn't realize. Maybe for different, uh, for different situations. I don't know. I don't really know, but you know what? That's okay. So what I'm also going to do, as I always do at the very end of all these maps, is I'm going to go through and, like, look at everything uh, from a bird's eye point of view. So maybe that has something to do with it. Love these terrain over the, the terrain over here is really beautiful. That's something that's typically overlooked in a lot of these maps is like the terraforming. You know, they do the absolute bare minimum. Like they could have just done an icy plane and had the render distance super low. And then you look out and you see nothing. But at least over here, you see this beautiful mountainside uh, and this really, really nice looking uh, tundra, the icy tundra all through here. So lots of attention to detail, of course, for the background here. Uh, so I have two here. I need four in order to upgrade my uh, water bending once again. Again, I'm, I'm just going to kind of wander until I find something I'm not supposed to be at. Maybe this is a dividing line here. Can I? Yep. Okay. So I'm not supposed to go over there. Pro gamer tip. Absolutely uh, verified here. So maybe, I mean, there's definitely way more battles, right? That's that's first things first on the agenda is finding more battles because it can't just be Katara and then those other uh, firebenders, or no, the, no, they can't be the firebender ship over there. But then again, in the water tribe, how much more can there possibly be? You know what I see right there? I see a tile. Boop. Right on top of there. So I didn't see that in the overview shot, but I did see it just right over there. So there's at least two of these tiles. I don't, again, I don't know what they do, but that'll be uh, discovered over time, Jafiel. So let me climb this very decrepit tower here. Uh, they also did not show me anywhere else I needed to go. So it looks like there's kind of nothing else to do here, which actually makes sense for the show. If you follow along for the... Okay, go the right direction. Thank you. Um, if you follow along with the show, there's nothing more than... Like, like the main water area is definitely the Northern Water Tribe. That is where the main temple is and all sorts of other things too. So when she showed me the overarching shot and you saw it before, uh, there's nothing else. So I probably should have went here first 
I don't know why I went to the Earth Kingdom uh, first because that was a lot of that was a lot of stuff to do, but that's okay. So the next area I'll go is uh, the Fire Nation, unless there's something here I'm missing, which is absolutely a possibility. But for right now, I mean, I've been doing pretty well thus far. So hey, you know, uh, well, I could go to the Rumble Arena and then do the Ember Island. The, you know what? I'm going to go to the Rumble Arena because why not? I was already in the Earth Kingdom, kind of catch myself up a little bit. Oh, you're not going to have a good time here, sir. Uh, I thought all these fighters would be hungry for cabbages, but I haven't sold a single one. Well, allow me to help you with your uh, business needs here. There you go. <laughs> my cabbages, whoops. You know, I'm not the protagonist or anything, but I'm doing my best out here. Are you just trying to peddle these leafy delights? Why do you do this to me? Well, it's mostly so I can get the achievement as time goes on here and whatever item you're going to offer me. And presuming that there's nothing out there in uh, the, the forest there, I'm going to go through the secret tunnel, secret tunnel, all the way here. Oh, hi. What's going on, sir? Uh, welcome to the Earth Rumble 7. I'm your host, Zin Fu. Uh, are you interested in joining the fray? Sure. Let's see what the fray is all about. Um, that's a, 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 a band from the mid-2000s as well. I never knew. I never knew that anything was falling through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is where uh, Toph battles, right? I thought this was uh, what it was from the, the TV show. Again, it's been a little bit since I've seen Avatar, but uh, I, I remember chunks and pieces, you know? Looks like this is the only guy here, so uh, I like this battle arena, though. It's really nice. I love the lighting, especially up toward here. I don't know what exactly it's called, but combatants. Oh, you're just literally straight up battling people. Okay, I guess I'll just go. All right, then. Uh, Chilling Mist. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be super easy to defeat all them? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay. But that's definitely helpful to know that as I'm doing my thing here, I'm going to gain more health as I master more bending abilities here, I should say. So that's cool. They're all clearly uh, earth types, earth bending here. I don't have any water. Oh, I forgot about that. But I have the frost breath, which is kind of spicy, you know? Here we go. Okay, so that absolutely launches. Yes, okay. And it seems like I don't even need to have it like fully. Oh, geez, go, whoa, where am I going, dude? No, did I get kicked out? Do I have to restart? I have to restart, I can't leave. I can't get knocked out at all. Wow, all right. So that's kind of spicy, right? So I have to stay on ground level as much as possible and not let them knock me back. That's essentially what has to happen here. And if I do get knocked back, it has to be uh, in relation to where uh, I want to be launched. It looks like there's definitely somebody in that spot over there, but I guess, I suppose not. Yep. This is kind of strategic. I like this. Okay. Nope. Get back. There we go. So you only need to charge it up by two in order to really launch those characters, uh, those benders. One, two. There we go. One, two. Don't hit the wall, Brian. Hello. And, you know, what's really cool, unless I get the next uh, earthbending ability here, which is the, uh, the, the, the wall, right, that King Boomy had, uh, that would be meaning that I don't have all the same earthbending abilities as uh, everybody else, which is kind of cool, but also doesn't make sense because I'm the avatar. So I'm assuming the next ability I'll get is the one where I can uh, launch a wall in front of myself, you know? So we'll see if that's going to be the case here. Come on. Ooh, how did I miss that one? Seriously, go. I, how am I missing? Go. You're literally right here. Did I get it? Oh, and now there's no wall. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zinfu, uh, yeah. Let's go battle against you, the pro wrestler. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a pro gamer, so I know a thing or two about being a pro. I don't know about you, man, but if I fall out of here, that's going to be uh, very bad. So I'm going to try not to do that. Ooh, the wall. Okay, but I can destroy his wall and seemingly uh, do damage at the same time, which is kind of spicy. Ooh, can I knock him out, actually? Ooh, you can jump like that? Seriously? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, he resets that way. Okay, so no matter what, the computer 
is not going to allow you to do like launching out of the map there. Okay. So Zinfu is down. By the way, that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's X I N. It's Zin, like Zinfu there. Uh, I'm going after the boulder again. And obviously, Toph is going to be the last one because Toph is Toph. Toph is uh, one of the coolest characters from the show. Uh, she is a Earl, this, which is even cooler. So there we go. So I really should have done the Earth Kingdom second. Oh, well. The boulder is dissatisfied with this outcome, although the boulder does look forward to watching you get crushed by the little girl. This is the blind bandit Toph. So she is uh, seen as the uh, coolest character of the core cast. Uh, she, she doesn't take no nonsense, for sure. Uh, and the thing about her is that she's totally blind and she feels out uh, all of the earth bending, bending abilities from uh, be okay cool so you can't you can't push them out of the arena you can get pushed out of the arena but you can't force the other characters to, to, to be out of the arena okay so yeah because I'm gonna push I mean it, it kind of makes sense because Toph is blind but uh, yeah no so she can feel the earth bending abilities uh, through her feet and you know what this is a very disappointing battle because she should be the toughest of them all and she was by far the easiest there you took me down and snatched away my champion bell i never thought this day would come to be honest nice work there so and again i only get one so that's spicy i have the uh the earth rumble champion belt now so that's cool so i got ooh, and i see this up here ooh. now i didn't encounter any of these in the earth kingdom not at least from before so i don't know if i missed any so i might want to go back and see if i can find uh, the rest of them here. There we go. So I got three of these Pai Show tiles. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find any in the Earth Kingdom when I was back there and uh, take it from there. Real quick, I do want to spend my uh, my six here. And I'm going to go for the Earth Wall, raise up a stone barrier. Right, exactly, just like that. So now I can challenge against the, uh, the Earth Avatar. I don't quite know who that is, but that's okay. Uh, that will be... Avatar Kiyoshi. Of course it's Kiyoshi. My apologies. Of course. So, let me look around here for a half second. I can't look around here for a half second. Okay. Let me go back to the Earth Kingdom, see if I can find any of these Pi Show tiles, and then I'll let you know what I find, if anything at all. I literally just found one right here. Okay. So, right from the main entrance over toward this way, literally walk right here, and you can find at least one of them. So, I have four... Ba Sing Se is big, so I'm assuming there's going to be more than one somewhere. I can't believe I didn't find any of them just around my uh, my journeys or whatnot. There's a lot of alleyways and a lot of houses around here, so I'll see if I can find any more hidden all about. So over by where Jet is, on the way to like where King Boomy is, this is where Toph's house is. You burst through this wall right here using the earthbending ability, launch it through, and then you get access to this garden over here. So I forgot that this was part of the main story. So this is definitely where you're going to find probably one of these tiles. It is definitely, maybe, probably where you're going to find one of these. Look at that right on cue. Right on cue. And this is where um, Toph's mother, I think, pays homage to. Or no, this is where, um, isn't this where, uh, uh, it's, it's either a Toph's mom, which I don't think is the case, or it's Iroh. Iroh paying homage to his wife. I believe that might be the case. Uh, I'm going to save the other two abilities for another another time here. But I do want to go into Toph's... Or actually, it just breaks through on the other side here. Uh, it's just a garden, it seems like. But if I do this and burst through here... Let me show you on the other side here where you end up. Looks like it is located where uh, Sokka and Katara are. So I just missed this wall. I didn't realize it was a breakable wall. I will say they do a good job of like outlining that yes, this is a breakable wall. It looks very different from every other texture that is available. So that's cool. You can also just hop the fence. <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could. That's uh, also an option there. And then there's uh, something in the, not well, not anything in the well. If you want to pull from it for bending, you can. So I found, what, two or three? Let me see if I can find more. I like running on the, uh, the, the, What's the, the roofs here? The roofs. This is a really cool uh, aspect of having the double jump, which you would not be able to traverse this easily in Minecraft in any way if you didn't have the double jump. So I like this a lot. The freedom is definitely here. 
So I can only find those for now, but the next time I see you, I'm going to go to the Fire Nation, because that's what's next up on the list here. Ember Island is where I'll see you for the next episode of Avatar Legends and Minecraft. Bye.